Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. I'm here once again with a Mother's Day poster. Let's start in Photoshop. Let me show you how to do it real quick. I'm going to click on create new and then I'm going to use these dimensions. The same dimensions I use for all social media posts, 2000 here, 2000 here. I'm going to call it Mom Day Poster. Okay, set here to 300 and that is it. Click on create. Also, guys, we need to set our alignments well. So I'm going to click on view. I'll come to new guys layout. I'm going to set it to um, let's just say uh, four and I'll set the side to four and I'll set here to 0 0.3 across and I'll click on OK. So now we have everything done. The first thing we want to do is to bring in our images. So I'm going to click on file that I'll go to place embed. And now guys, pay attention to what I'm about to do. It's really going to save you a lot of time and then also help you edit faster as well. Okay, now um, you first need to get your things done. All the things the client is going to give you, you need to get done. The pictures, the fonts, the, everything, get it down. Okay, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to click on it nicely. Place it there nicely. Okay, now once that's done, Control H to hide my lines. Okay, also, guys, I want to add some few things to it. So I'll go here to the adjustments down below. I'm going to look for levels and then I'm just going to drag this one. I'll drag it somewhere around um, here. And then also, this maybe perhaps drag it down a little bit more. This is better. I feel like this is great. Okay, now what can we do to it? Let's create a new layer and then let's come and pick this color code over here. 2F0C00. Okay, now this is the color code I want to be using. And then I'm going to pick my brush to make sure the caps log is off. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to just brush towards this side. Okay, that's it. Okay, brush towards that side. That's it. I'm going to put them in the group. Then I'm going to call it images or image all right now we are done with that now let's begin to bring in some of the fonts and some of the text in there i'm going to click on my text tool and then i'll type somewhere here i'm going to type m nice now i'll go to my font character here i'm going to look for salvator let's do a salvator extra bold okay extra bold but it should be italics i figure this is better now the font size also let's increase it up dramatically maybe 170 or 160 something will do i feel like this is also great i don't want it to be pure white so let's go to the color code and then let's give it this color code f f d e c 8 okay i love this i'll duplicate it Control j to duplicate it click on your move to and then move it towards this side now i'm going to duplicate the key with Control j double click it and then small letter o and then you want to bring it together now control h to bring our lines control t you want the letter o to be in the middle of that good are we good 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 then now you can align the m with it okay so one two three four five six seven i feel like that should be good i feel like this could also go there like that all right so that is it now let's create a new layer here and then hold alt and click it to clip it to it now pick your brush tool which one is this the left one okay now click on the layer here pick your brush tool caps lock off reduce the the size of the brush okay now i want you to come and pick the color over here and then use it on it and then reduce the opacity drastically to around 50 percent now you want to click over here create a new layer clip it to it as well you also want to do the exact same thing and you want to reduce your opacity all the way to 50 something percent okay so that is it with that we're going to put them in a group we are going to call it um let's just say mom okay so now that does it for mom the other thing is we also want text we want to type ma the over here and then let's use auto autographia we're going to use autographia perhaps we might have to use medium for this okay for the meantime and then we also need to reduce the font size drastically so maybe one zero something hundred and something will be better make sure guys make sure it is in small letters okay all right so m-o-t-h-e-r make sure it's in small letters 
click on your move tool and then just drag it somewhere here now i also feel like it's too bold so let's make it thin nice then let's click on the color and then let's give it this color code ff0000 make it pure red like this this looks promising and nice i also like to make the tracking 22 make it a little bit broader Control t it has to be middle aligned as usual and this is good now let's also, let's also go to mom here Control t mom also has to be what middle aligned everything has to be middle aligned okay now i also feel like we can create an effect with the mother so double click here and then let's create an effect let's create a drop shadow effect okay drop shadow now pay attention to it okay we are going to use multiply here right and then also we are going to set this side all the way to maybe around 50 percent good and then um let's just see what else can we do maybe the angle here let's set it to 90 let's set um let's see okay let's set the distance here to 21 nice but then i feel like the spread is too much let's set it to zero nice and then also the size here is too much let's set it to seven okay now you can see how the effect is in there i love it creates a very nice effect there click on your text tool let's type over here and then let's go and pick our the following details okay so let's pick mother's day let's go back then let's paste it there we are going to use montserrat this time montserrat this time for it okay and we are going to use montserrat bold for it okay we also need to reduce the font size to something smaller maybe around 19 would be, would be better click on your move tool and drag it up here guys remember it has to also be middle aligned okay so make sure you have it middle aligned and drag it up a bit more not too much though great so let's make it medium i feel like it's too bold let's make it medium now and then maybe let's even reduce increase the size to 26 i feel like this too much Control t make it middle aligned again better i feel like this is way better and then um maybe let's not make it red let's make it white pure white i feel like the red was uh, some way okay so i feel like this is better um maybe we might have to give it some effect over there but we'll come back to it duplicate it Control j and then move it up now i want you to go and pick happy okay and paste it there also you need to reduce the font size the font size you're going to use for this is 19 for this then let's make it bold let's also make sure it is in the middle of it aligned to the middle really important okay bring it up a little bit a bit more and then let's make it color red let's also use the same red that we use for it ff0000 good i feel like this is great so far um what else can we do let's put everything in a group including mom in a group let's call it mom let's see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to push them down okay push them down like towards this level okay yep all right now i'm going to double click it and guys watch it i'm going to give it some drop shadows over there so i'll click on drop shadow here and then um, let's just see we're going to use multiply here for it okay i'm going to click on the color i'm going to give it a different color i'm going to give it 1d 0000 not necessarily black for that the opacity let's increase the opacity all the way to 100 then the angle let's leave it at 90 but then let's work on this size the distance let's make it seven and then the spread let's make it 21 and then the size let's make it maybe around 80 something 81 would do okay now i feel like it's too dark here so maybe we need to reduce it a bit more make it around maybe 70 percent would do click on okay then i love this so far control h let's see i love this so far this looks good and promising there's more we can do to it so let's do more to it of course i'm going to bring in some few 3d effects just to make it dynamic okay the flare always has to be dynamic and creative so i'm going to push this one there good make it creative okay just be creative i'm going to pick this one as well place it there nicely okay nicely then i'm going to pick the last one as well and i'm going to place it somewhere here this one click on it exactly okay so now 
uh, stuff where I'm going to place it, I'm going to place it somewhere here. But I don't want it to hide any anything. So I'm going to push it somewhere here. And pushing it somewhere here means I need to go down to images. Or let me go down to mom. Then let's go. Which one is it? This one. Okay. So I'm going to create another layer over there. Make sure it's clipped to it. And then pick your brush tool. All right. And then just hit there. Hit there. Okay. Just to create that shadow in the background nicely. So let's put now. Let's put this 3D in a group. Let's call it maybe 3D. 3D will do. Also, we can bring in our message. I'm going to type here. No, 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 no. But I want it there. Okay, I want to type. All right, so somewhere there. Then I'm going to paste it. But let's use Montserrat for this. Okay, pick any of the Montserrat. All right. And then we are going to use Montserrat regular for that. Let's also decrease the size drastically. I'm going to use font size 10. Then I'm going to click on my move tool and I'm going to move it somewhere here. Now, guys, remember it's all middle aligned. So that means we need to make this also middle aligned. Okay. The other thing is that the space between them is too much. Let's go to character. Let's go to leading. Let's set the leading to 12. Beautiful. Let's set it to pure color white nice all right so what else can we do let's make this side minus 20. all right so i feel like this is way better control h control t keep it middle aligned all right so this is better now and then also we can go back and go and pick our um let's pick our handle social media handles paste it there drag it all the way down remember it has to also be in the middle middle aligned as I said earlier on, and then we are almost done with everything. I'm going to put this in the group, call it um, handles. Good. I'm going to also put this in the group. I'm going to call it message. Good. All right. So few things we have to do now. Let's add in some glows. With a glow, I'm going to create a layer here, and then I'm going to pick my brush tool. Then I'll come and um, maybe click on Alt and pick this color here um, i'll go there a little bit and then maybe go up and pick the upper one a little bit more like that good i'll make sure caps lock is off and then i'm going to hit here for the first i'll go there i'm going to set it to screen then i'll click on this side i'm going to push it here okay so this is good guys let's all right now that's good i'll duplicate it and i'm going to drag it all the way somewhere here good let's increase it a bit more all right good now duplicate it again i'm going to push it somewhere here let's decrease it push it somewhere here nice i'll duplicate it again and then i'm going to push it somewhere let's see let's experiment and see where we can place it uh place it somewhere here we'll do okay so i feel like this is way better i'm going to put them all in a group then i'm going to call them glow final thing we got to do is to merge everything together Control alt shift and e to achieve that convert it to a smart object and guess what we are going to do to it? we are going to click here and we're going to set it to soft light and then that's how we achieve something like this all right now guys if you love this video don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i love you all guys see you in the next one peace out